So my name is Jenna Fournier from the band Knights. I play guitar and sing. We're kind of a shoegaze rock band based out of Cleveland, Ohio. And I actually wrote this piece for the pedal after experimenting with it for a bit. The Astral Destiny is super fun and I wanted to do something that showed off what it can do because it can do a lot. It's got a bunch of presets on it that without even thinking or putting effort into it, you have a lot of stuff you can play with and experiment with. Um, but then you can fine tune your own sounds as well. I was using the sub shimmer uh, because the the lower octave shimmer gives a little more room for a high end vocal to come through. So I thought it was a nice contrast with my voice. But then at the end, I, I changed to the astral. And then for vocals, I picked the abyss because it's, it's more of like a standard reverb that you could kind of throw on anything, which is nice because you don't always want a really funky, crazy reverb on every song but it has that really nice, beautiful, basic reverb if you want that too. This is the Abyss setting. But if you switch to the cosmos, it gets pretty crazy. It's actually really fun to put my voice through a bunch of the crazier reverbs, a bunch of the really extreme ones, and max them out. And There's a couple modes on here that pitch bend. So if you want to do something kind of spooky, that would be fun too. Uh, it's got a really nice shimmer, which kind of gives it that high end as well. And sing with multiple versions of yourself. Who doesn't want to be able to do that? Who needs bandmates when you have the astral destiny? It's pretty cool. Very spacey, very fun. The presets are fun because they, they spark ideas, they spark inspiration. Um, you can write over them if you want to. I haven't written over any of them because they're really cool. But one of the fun things that the pedal can do is you can dial in a tone and mid-song toggle into a completely different sound or completely different setting. And so the presets kind of, they're there if you want to use them, you know? Um, I like sitting and messing and dialing and picking a tone. But I mean, out of the box, it's full of a bunch of sounds. You can just, it's ready to play. I'm probably gonna leave them for a while because I liked all of them. Um, but if I, if I end up finding a sound that I, that I really want, I'll have to like, it's like you have to kill one of your darlings, right? <laughs> have to erase and write over something that you like. But um, I also love, um, you can almost get a, a sound that reminded me a little bit of the Rainbow Machine when you hold the switch down. Um, so that doubles the length of the trail, which I thought was kind of nice because that's another thing that's really easy to do mid song. So in a live setting, when that's a thing again, um, it's just one hit and you instantly changed your sound back and forth. But if you hold that left switch down, you kind of get that, that ramp up. And I think it's kind of a fun ascension to like break break up parts of a song. That's all the questions I really have. I cool. Was good. Yeah, I that was awesome. Everything. You made it sound fun and more fine. So. Okay, cool. And if your ambient <laughs> record is anything like what you played, I'm totally buying it. So. Yay! Yeah, that's sweet. That was awesome.